No, I left it out for you. Okay. It's okay. Day's gone. More motorcycle zombies. All right, hello, welcome everyone. We're gonna get started soon. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. No, because I thought it was Friday. You thought it was Friday. I thought today was like Saturday for some reason. I'm not far because it feels like Saturday. Yeah. It's always it's just Saturday hype all the time. Saturday vibes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. I can't get this camera right. Ever since I adjusted for Arthur Cam, it's just not been. This is the Arthur chair now. It's not ideal. Yeah, it's it's adjusted for Arthur size. Arthur size cam. All right, cool. Well, let's just get started. Let's start playing this game. I'm pretty sure this is just going to initiate a cutscene. Hungry Jim's pancakes. I want some pancakes. Do you want some pancakes, Carly? How are you doing? Welcome. Hello. How are you? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. I know. I haven't had pancakes in forever. We woke up one morning recently and I was like, hey, I was like, hey, Cyber, what do you want for breakfast? And she was very like with conviction was like, I want pancakes. And I was like, damn, me too. We didn't have any milk. <laughs> so we were this close to having pancakes. You gotta be here somewhere. Someday soon. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. cool i always love like gigantic paul bunyan statues like this look at this you got paul bunyan i'm assuming it's paul bunyan just leaning on a stack of flapjacks having a great day full day off of school and work oh nice over caffeinated nice i'm i'm on my way very shortly I just started sipping on this coffee here. Women's, oh, fuck, 
who's here with now. Let's see, we're gonna play detective here by the river. Gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? Oh, excuse me, sorry. I don't mean to block the watering hole. You'll probably actually make some pancakes. I forgot to mention that, like, at the beginning of that story, I asked, like, do we even have pancake mix? And we did. But we didn't have any milk. Because Cyber spilled it all. Oh, hey! Welcome, Cyber. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the Carly shout out. Was not just talking about you spilling milk. Never. But we had no milk. See, Cyber confirms. Also, I did not spill milk. I don't know. The jury's still out. We're going to have to have a Twitter poll. Did Cyber spill the milk? Bruh. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. How are you doing? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. I'm just going to stroll into Pancake Gyms here. Hungry Jim's. Sorry, excuse me. Hungry Jim's. Best pancakes in the high desert. Bandages. I know what bandages are, game. Thank you. Dr. Solomon, so good to see you. Welcome. Did you get some lasagna? Beef lasagna. Love to see it. Thank you for the cyber shout out. Welcome on in, friends. Make yourself comfortable. Get some coffee. We never buy milk slash oat milk, but this week I was like, bro, we need pancakes this week or I will cry. It's me too, Cyber. We need pancakes this week or I will cry. Woo! Oh, 23%. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's like a preview. Stream preview. Yeah. Solomon, finally got some lasagna. I'm so happy to see it. So good to see you. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, dude. I do that too, though, Ashley. I do that all the time. Pre-stream info. But, I, dude, I am so excited for you guys tonight. That's going to be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun to watch. My hair is flowing like a Greek god. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I was feeling like I was having a good hair day. The secret is the post post hair wash day where you wake up and it's just a little bit frizzy so you just like you just damp it product good to go thank you so much solomon and ashley wants a joke and we all want pancakes now let's get that joke ready while the game teaches me about bandages i don't know ashley likes the actual joke book Oh, yes. Are you going to make pancakes for everyone, Carly? Nice. You got it. Thank you for the lurk. I wash my hair with oat milk. It's the secret. Don't use real milk to wash your hair. Use oat milk. I will send you photos of pancakes. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, Ashley, your joke. Hope you're ready for spending your coin. What kind of fruit is never alone? Joke book is superior. I'm glad you like it. What kind of fruit is never alone? That would be a pear. <laughs> Ready? I'm, I hope you like that. Also, this one, I'm glad I picked this joke. Not only a bad joke. Banana. Oh my god, banana. It's always banana. What was the pumpkin's favorite sport? Squash. <laughs> I like that. Simple. I love the simple jokes. There's your joke doodle for redeeming. It's a pair playing cards with a, a teddy bear. It's amazing. Why is it a teddy bear? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Cyber, for the lurk. Yes, you have to work today. I know. Yesterday we were distracting you. All right, one more follow-up joke. Here you go, Ashley. This one's for free. What kind of tree has hands? The picture, I know. It's a good picture, right? 
What kind of tree has hands? That would be a palm tree. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's get back to game. Apparently there's rippers around. Or the game's just being paranoid. Let's see. Let's see what's going on inside of here. You know, I always love looking what kind of uh, sauces and condiments they have on the tables. We got like a lot. It's, it's a big bottle of mustard, especially. One with arms. <laughs> Good guess. Limbs, I guess, would be a more apt word for a tree. There's there's a ripper right there. I'm just going to walk the other way for now. I do have suppressors for my for my sidearm. I'm just gonna do that and be safe. Oh, check it out, they got an espresso machine. Neat. Anybody want an iced latte, maybe? Or a red eye? Oh shit, no time for coffee. Oh dude, check it out, they got like a grill, like a, what is it, like a panini press? They make some, some cafe style sandwiches. Surprise, gotcha. Boom. Very well done. They're bringing God of War to Steam in January. Nice. The um, the PS4 one? Like the... What would you call that? A reboot? I haven't played any God of Wars. Don't judge me, please. I did just recently buy that one, though. The one on PS4. Got it for a really good sale, so I am looking forward to playing that. Always Maybe we'll play that in, like, November, December. That seems like a good fall going into winter stream game. Favorite candy. If I'm at the store and need to buy a chocolate bar, I am going with a crunchy bar. A crunchy bar. Like a crunch bar? Like the blue the blue label with the red later, uh, with the red laters? Red letters? Is that the one we're are we on the same page there? Oh God of War on PS4 is lit as fuck. Ooh, I'm definitely alright. We're definitely gonna stream that next. That's not gonna be on the list for sure. Oh, it's the game you started with. Oh my god. Was that a first time I'm guessing Oh Jesus. Okay, well. Looks like the zombies are ready for lunch. Big Jim is serving. I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I got distracted by the pancake house. The memories, good memories. You will play it again. It's that good. Oh my god. Well, I'm looking forward to playing it my first time. It'll also be my first God of War game. Crunchy is honeycomb toffee covered in milk chocolate. Capital, capital no. I'm so sorry. Well, excuse me. I don't know if I've seen Crunchy. I also don't buy a whole lot of candy. And when I do, I just buy the same thing. You've played it three times, Solomon. Hell yeah, dude. That's got to be good. It might be Canada only. I'm going to have to check that out when I visit Canada for the very first time. Clear Marion Forks of Rippers. Ooh, look at this fancy. Oh, I can sabotage. Nice. Beastie Boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody sees me. Who is that? Where are you, sir? Dang. Right there. I was so excited to sabotage. Gotcha. Now, if only I had something with a scope on it, that would be really ideal. I don't think my crossbow will help me. Oh, oh, hello, sir. Did not see you there. I'm just going to make a run for it this way. Oh, 
Oh wow, there's quite a few enemies. This sniper's got me really pinned down. I'm just gonna head around this way and hopefully flank. Oh, looks like we got a few zombie nests around here too. Gotta be careful. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> fucking that's what happens just ran right on top of a grenade okay this time we're gonna be sneaky very very sneaky none of you are getting out of here alive they won't even see me coming Seems like it auto saved me right before I took out that first ripper. Ooh, scraps. Always Give me them scraps. scraps. Work in 20, for sure. Appreciate the lurk. I hope you have a good day at work. Thank you so much. Take some blam to go, blam on the road. Oh, here's that lady. We'll just wait for her. Pistol has been suppressed. Is she coming? Where she? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Something's in there. Is that a she? I don't know. Something's out here. Stell. Gotcha. We can use this. This guy over here is just vibing. He's having a great morning. Not anymore. Good night. I don't know if I've been using gunpowder yet. I wonder when that comes into play. Blam. Ooh, 56. Halfway there. More than halfway there. Have you played this game at all, Solomon? It is pretty fun, not gonna lie, this is my first time. There is a nest here, but I kinda wanna get rid of the rippers before I start. Having too many distractions with the zombie nests. You have? It was good? Nice, dude. That is that is good to hear. Yeah, I'm loving it. It is great. Very nice surprise. <laughs> You saw nothing. <laughs> you saw nothing. I should use pebbles more. I don't pebble often enough. Who's a good little distracted ripper? Oh, what the fuck, man? Should Probably because I didn't sneak up behind him. Well, that could have gone a lot better, but oh well. Yeah, I really enjoy this game. It's like the 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 gameplay is casual enough 
where it's fun. It's not too hard. There's enough of a challenge. Um, a lot of the different nuances, like the crafting and the bike, the map, like traversing the world, they all kind of have a little bit of nuance to it, but like not too much where it's complicated, where you're not like treading into RPG category. It's nice. It's a nice. It's 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 a nice, fun, casual game with a few extra things added here and there to make it interesting, but not too much at once. So yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. All right, well, I don't know if I can take either of these guys out without alerting the other one, so I might just go upstairs and take the sniper out. Yep, this is going to be easy. Beautiful silent kill. Hmm. I could try to use a sniper to take a few of these guys out, but I feel like I want to try to keep up this stealthy approach while I can. Oh shit. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Anybody else see that? I think they did. That guy must have seen it. He definitely saw it. If I can get rid of him while he's not looking. And maybe we can... Nope. Come on, come on, come on. He's moving around too much. Oh. Shit, there's more over there. Did not know this. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. It's just a dude on a motorcycle. <laughs> I've been playing too many Resident Evil games. I saw that red motorcycle and I thought it was like a fucking zombie abomination thing running towards me. Oh my god. Hello, Trash Kitty. How are you doing? Good morning. Oh my god. It's been chill so far, but that motorcycle really scared me for some weird reason. Maybe after... Oh, it is technically afternoon here. Honestly, I meant to get started earlier, but it, the same thing happens every morning. It's like, I still have so many things to do. Okay. Let's jump back into this. We've got a few more rippers to deal with, but that's okay. Maybe I should just use my shotgun. Whoa! Oh shit, that was cool. I didn't mean to jump up there. I was just so excited. I will give you the work. Oh god, there's more coming. Sus motorcycle. Look at how sus it is, though. It's so evil. It's red. It's like if a cheesy cartoon devil was riding a motorcycle, this would be it. I'm talking like with a goatee and like a tail. Ooh, this hatchet looks very dangerous. But I still have a machete, which has been like the best weapon so far, melee wise. Combat roll. Oh, here we go. There's where all the friends are. <laughs> All right, well, time to get up close and personal. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> that was brutal. I don't enjoy shooting humans, but, you know, these guys are fucking crazy, and they're trying to kill me, so self-defense. God 
God damn, there's more coming. Maybe I should have picked up that sniper rifle after all. I want to back up a little bit. We're going to heal. And we're going to push forward. Find a way into the house. This nice blue house. That's very... That's, that's hilarious. I was like... <laughs> just about to comment how, how nice looking this house must have been pre-apocalypse makes sense that it's like the waypoint for the quest let's do a little bit of looting though Can I sabotage? I want to sabotage. I didn't get a chance to last time. Heh <laughs> In your face, red bike. Suck on that. Good luck being evil now. This is it. Oh, wow. Cool. I found that right away. What am I supposed to do here? There we go. Come on. Set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? <laughs> Cutscene. Well, that was kind of tense for a few minutes. Don't be afraid. Uh... I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Thank you for the shout out, Cyber. Okay. Uh, is is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are are these yours? No. Uh, uh, Lisa. <laughs> That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop. And they would be here waiting for me and we would leave together. And I got here and there was... A note that said they left with some men, and I didn't know what to do, so, so I hid, and I, I, I didn't know what to do. How long have you been hiding here? It's been like two years since the apocalypse happened. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. Oh, I know. Oh, it's so there. sweet. Uh, there are people there. There are people, I know them, it's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp. I don't know, I'm nervous, though, she seems, Life is gonna be hard, but at least she, ain't gonna she seems very distraught. Uh, no, my mom's coming here is for it, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I love her little striped sweater. 
Or long sleeve. Yes. I know she is. It's like Cheshire Cat colors. Stay close. Escort mission? Oh boy. How nerve-wracking. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, <laughs> Sounds like it. Them. <laughs> Either them or that Slipknot dude. Standing directly outside Slipknot. I keep saying Slipknot. Corn. The corn dude. <laughs> It must be because we we just saw Slipknot a couple months ago at Riot Fest. Or maybe a, a month ago, I should say. That was fun. That was... Oh, my God. That was insane. I don't know if Cyber's still lurking, but she can confirm how insane that was. I wonder if, it, if I would have taken my bike with me, if this would be any easier. Let's see. Where did she even go? Oh, she's right here. Okay, come on, let's go. Lisa? Let's go, this way. Okay. Looks clear. You gotta follow me though, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quickly. Dumpster? Oh man, one of them sounds very close. Come on, let's go, Lisa. We're just gonna swing wide. Oh shit, okay. They're just zombies. Just regular old run of the mill zombies. Lisa, where, what the fuck? Where is she, dude? Where are you, Lisa? Where did she go? Come on, let's go. I think her AI pathing was just all getting weird. No, she... Come on, are you going to come through here or not? She doesn't seem to like this hole for some reason. Well, let's go through this one. Jeez. Come on. Can we go through this window? Yeah! Oh my god, thank you so much, game. Can she, though? Lisa? Can I just open this? There we go. Come on. Through here before they see us. Let's go. Nice. Way to go, Lisa. All right. I don't know if there's any way out here. Sneaky. Is there like a way to get her to like stay in one spot? Ooh, I should repair my machete too. That would have been bad. All right, well, let's try this. Oh, fucking goddammit. it! No, 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 no. Back. Abort. Abort mission. Okay. Let's try this way instead. Maybe with a little suppressor action. Bam. Be out here. It's fine. This is fine. Last. Go. Yes, let's go. Good, I good idea. More bounties. Okay. 
Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Look out. Yeah, I see. Let's go this way. Scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. So far, so good. I think Lisa has a problem jumping through windows, though. Just something to look out for. Ooh, no. A little baby zombies. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good, though. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lisa just dumped my ass. She just fucking hopped into the dumpster. Oh, my God. Solomon with the joke. Here, hold on. Oh, my Jesus fucking Christ. A bear is chasing me. I, this is not how I thought my day was going to go. Stay away from me, baby zombie. I hope Lisa's okay in that fucking dumpster. <gasps> oh, fucking Christ, dude. Jesus, man. That's a big bear. And here I thought grizzly bears were bad at climbing. Fuck. Okay. Uh, here's your here's your nightbot joke, Doctor Solomon. Let's see what our robot has to say for us. I have the heart of a lion, and a lifetime ban from the San Diego Zoo. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. Here's your here's your. Uh, no. <laughs> Here's another joke for you, Solomon. I hope you like this one better. Never take advice from electrons. They're always negative. <laughs> Thank you for the joke redemption. Thank you for spending your coins here. We were doing so well in the game until that grizzly bear popped out. They did that on purpose. They're fucking with me. That's a middle school joke, and I'm satisfied. Yes. Science joke for the win. Oh, damn. I'm just going to watch. I'm getting credit for these zombie kills, too. That's, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm wondering if I should even bother with these little babies. I don't think they really bother you until you start attacking. Oh! oh, he doesn't like it when I point my gun at him. And the baby zombies are attacking now. Fudge. That was a that was a bad combination. Oh my god. Oh no. Can I just hide inside? I also saw some bullets here. Grab that. Oh! See ya! Do I have any explosives? I mean, if the bear is distracted enough, I could probably just run away. Let's do that. How do I call you out? Come on, Lisa. The bike is literally right here. The bear was waiting on purpose. What? What? The, what's the deal? Do I have to kill the bear? I 
I think I might have to kill the bear because it's not letting me. Unless I, like, retrieve Lisa. Unless I need Lisa, but I don't think she'll come out. Ooh, ooh, ladder, ladder. Ladders are good. Ladders are friends. Good ladder. Nice ladder. <sighs> Alright, let's try a pipe bomb. This is totally... This is kind of lame if this is, like, a necessary boss fight. Because I could have totally avoided it. Now I see why they added these baby zombies that just like to stick to the roofs. Hmm. Oh yeah, defeat the bear. I just <laughs> I just now saw that. So yes, definitely absolutely necessary because the game told me to. Catch. Oh, that was a Molotov. Oh well. <laughs> Still works for me. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. <laughs> now we have just an angrier bear and he's on fire. Am I dead? No. Oh, Jesus. Yep. And I died. Run for your life. I mean, that's my that's my natural instinct. That's the... I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. But since it's... It's, it's tied into, like, the gameplay here because... You can't leave without Lisa and she just... I think she just hides in the dumpster. Yeah. She's just programmed to do that. Uh, let's try a pipe bomb right away. Oops. Uh -oh. That didn't fucking work. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Let's do. Let's do more Molotovs. Because an angry bear, it's it's too simple. We need we need something to jazz it up here. We need flaming angry bears. Doing some pretty decent damage to him. It's good. Good to know. Oops. Yeah, not bad. Stay still. Stay still, little scurry guy. Eighty-six percent blam. Oh my god, Maple. That is amazing. Hey, that's an A. <laughs> I'll take it. Round up. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great Wednesday. I hope work is going smoothly for you. Thank you so much for the Maple shout out. Definitely check out Maple if you have not. We're just chilling. There's an angry bear on the loose. And I'm not allowed to leave until I take care of this problem. So that's what we're doing right now. Yes, thank you, Cyber. Number one, we love Cyber. Explosive barrels and tanks can devastate enemies. I'm assuming that there's some explosive materials around here. I'm just afraid to go down. Get down on that bear's level. Aha, there's one right here. Neat. We do we do love Cyber. We love Cyber, yes we do. We we love Cyber. How about you? How about you, Mr. Bear? Do you love Cyber? Yeah, catch on fire if your answer is yes. Alright, I have time to get the fuck out of here. Oh no no no, he's gaining on me. Oh, jeez, that was close. Okay, bear, have some more. I don't want to do this, but the game is making me. Bye. 
Oh, he's he's really close to this uh, gas tank, this barrel. Are Geralt's uh, are Geralt's Geralt's are barrels full of gas actually red in real life? Is that a thing? That didn't work. I will <laughs> have one bullet left. Oh, never mind. Okay, I have one clip left. I'm using up all of my explosives. Come back, Mr. Bear. Craft more. Cybernetica for Thug of the Month. Oh my god, yes. Let's make that a thing. Get a very nice picture of Cyber, and then you get those, like, 8-bit Photoshop glasses on top. And then, like, the old English letters, Thug Life, at the very bottom. I'm down. Black and white photo. Cyber isn't a thug. What? <laughs> Dude, Cyber's the biggest thug I know, man. Straight thug life. All day, every day. Where did Mr. Bear go? Sounds like he made some new friends over here. You playing around, Mr. Bear? <laughs> he made some new friends. All right, here you go. Sorry. I only do this because I must. Okay, cool. Sorry, Mr. Bear. Now I'm going to loot you. <laughs> Sorry, times two. All right, let's leave. Let's go back to Lisa. Yo, Lisa, what's up? Let's go. Come on. Have you ridden before? Hop on the bike. No. Just climb on behind me. Hang on tight. Hey. Watch the exhaust what's pipes, too. They get really hot. Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa. Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? God damn it. <laughs> Oops. You don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. Hmm. I'm sure I'll be back through this area. I'm like very tempted to stop to and out clear out all these zombie nests. Eggs. Uh, Completely jeopardize Lisa. Rocks, That's probably not a good idea. Open, really okay. That, that sounds great. We used to go all over. Belknap Crater, the lava flow and Black Crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Oh no, here we go. Spoopy tunnel time. Shit. Hopefully this goes Someone's smoothly. In the tunnel. Oh god. What? Here, hop off. What are we doing? Listen to me. The gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Can I use my binoculars? Who are you? Definitely an enemy. Are you not like perturbed by my motorcycle light here? That's totally fine with you, dude. Are you not aware of us? Oh, yeah, they definitely see us now. Stay here, find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? About to ride up closer.
Ooh, med kit. Men coming. Oh, Charge up. My bad. Oh shit, get me out of here. Machete time. Jesus, brutal. Whew, do not bring a pipe to a machete fight. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some frenzy bolts. Because they're fun. Oh. <laughs> Usually it helps if I don't kill the person first. There we go. Now fight all your friends for me, sir. Do my bidding. No one else to fight, so you're gonna just fight me. That's neat. Lisa, I guess that's that's what happens when you get, frenzy the very last enemy. Out, the frenzy doesn't really make a difference. Before we get back to Lisa, let's craft and loot. Yo, Lisa, what's up? Let's get going. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to. Like they home. fortified this tunnel too. Nah, kid, the cap. You'll be safe there. You'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... 
His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Aha, here we are. The camp. All right, this is it. We're here, yeah, so just stay with me. Okay. Cool. We did it. We rescued Lisa. Way to go, Deacon. That was a scary bear. I was not expecting that at all. Well, who do we have here? This is Tucker. Oh my God, Whoa. Lisa, honey, oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do. And men came, and people got sh sick. And it's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Well, I mean... Sad that her parents aren't here, but she's going to be a lot better off with people versus living by herself. Hey, hey, listen, listen, she's, she's been through a lot. Can we just... Let me worry about how... No, listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft. Sorry. Sorry for having feelings, Tucker. I liked your little scarf, by the way. It's a nice touch. Yeah. Check it out. See? A nice little... What is that? Purple? Like a faded violet? Oh, she's got like a little peace sign. Embroidery on the back, too. Cool. Well, let's see. What can we what can we do around here? Does Tucker have any jobs? Can I help you? No jobs available. And basically, can we upgrade any guns? Can we upgrade the bike? What can we do here? Hey, what's up? I think we're good on fuel. Okay, then. Right? Yeah, it's really weird. We did a lot of... See you around. We did do a bit of driving. Would have expected to use a lot more fuel. What are gas prices like in the post-apocalypse? Let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, bear meat. That's gotta be... It's gotta be pricey, right? That's it for now. That's got to be a rare commodity. Uh, hold on, I'll get the you know what's on the menu tonight? Hey, hey. how's, how's it going out there? Like Damn, I have 60 going? zombie ears. Wow, so far we only know swarmers and newts. Newts are little baby zombies. We still have... Seven undiscovered enemy types that are zombified in a sense. Keeping the world safe. One We're doing pretty time. good on trust here too. See That's good. That's gonna come in handy. Let me check back and see what animals we've discovered. We have wolf meat. 
That's weird. It's showing bear is undiscovered, but I've definitely... <laughs> I just turned some meat in, but... Looks like we have, like, a cougar of some sort. Maybe a hawk or an eagle. And then we got deer and then wolves. I've not seen any cougars yet. Or mountain lions. I've seen plenty of deer. I just haven't... Haven't really gone hunting yet. And then I'm guessing we could probably just buy some ammo, and that's I think that's about all we can do here. We'll probably go to sleep, too, since it's getting nighttime. Getting dark out. Let's see. Hey, what's up? I can buy a 22 repeater, which is garbage, so... I'm not going to. This sidearm looks a lot better. And then I can also purchase a sniper rifle. Very tempting. Versus the crossbow, though. I would have to get up, give up my crossbow, which is nice for the little... Um, the craftable frenzy arrows. Those are really good. I don't know. I do have over 9,000 credits, though. Supplies. I might as well fill up all my ammo. Thanks. That's a nice touch. Need anything else? Yeah, I can upgrade that. Ooh, once we get to trust level three, we can actually buy grenades. That would be fantastic. Yeah, can I buy? Yeah, the only primary weapon I can buy is a 22 repeater for $1,000. I don't know. I kind of like my sawed off shotgun. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. It has done me no wrong so far. Later. Repair the machete? Can I do that? Am I not allowed to do that here? All right. Well, let's take let's take a nap. Why is it telling me to visit her memorial stone again? Learn to track deer from Copeland. Looks like we're going to go hunting soon. Looks like we have a story side mission. <laughs> nap. Nap hype. Oh, my God. Now that fall is is here and the days are getting shorter and... The wind is blowing a little bit colder. There has never been more nap hype. This is prime nap season. Oh, I'm just going to close my eyes for a bit. Just for a little bit. Just take a little nap. And there's still a research site over here. We haven't even... Looks like we haven't even touched it yet. Or is that the one that's over the jump? Yeah, that's yeah, that's right over a jump. Never mind. I need a nitrous boost before I can do any of those sick stunt jumps. And we also got some infestations over here. 
Yeah, I think we'll take care of some side missions before we jump back into the main quest line. Plus, I hate Copeland, so, like, pfft. the more time that we can put <laughs> in front of having to meet with him, the better. Get out of the way. I'll be over there. I will happily put that off for as long as I can, because he's a jerk. Do I have any skills? I do. I'm not too far away from my next point, either. Ability to roll quickly. Ability to stun a normal enemy with a melee attack while sprinting. I haven't really tried attacking while running. Ability to perform longer combos with melee weapons. Juice up. Hmm. Talk shit, get hit. All right, I got to get this one for the name alone. But also, seems like it improves my melee combos. So that will be good. When we get when we get overwhelmed and things get really intimate with enemies, we're going to be uh we're going to have more moves at our disposal hey, for that. Well, let's hop on the bike and get going. Is someone in trouble? Are they fighting again at the camp? They seem to do that a lot. O'Brien. It's goddamn O'Brien. What did he say? Uh, Metolius Springs? Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Loser, you there? Yeah, Dick. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. But with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Okay. It looks like, yeah, it looks like these landmark markers on my map still need to be explored so wow i have quite a few of those to find too Remember what Jack used to say? open my world fun can fly. so many things to do like I said, jack used to say a lot of stupid shit Deacon out all right let's go see what the hell nero is up to now ryan i got some questions for you no no bad dogs i'm leaving Okay, I'll head your way. St. John out. <sighs> Another Fi no. This is Radio Free Order. Sounded like Sounded like free. multiple Fi no's. No, thank you. It looks like I have, like I'm forced to go on foot here. Ooh, no, thank you. Bye, bye. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. 
So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Someday, we have to take out of this. I want to take a poll. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. I'll take oh, the okay. guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away. I think I know what's happening now. I'm probably going to have like another flashback now that I know uh, hey, me more. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He, he keeps asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right. I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered. This son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone too. As soon as we get it back together, my bike, I mean, we'll get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Got a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again. You know? All right, well, that was sad, but I'm glad that we did that. I'm just happy we came up here for, you know, a, a reason. I was I was worried that I was going back to a previous quest, but no, that's definitely, I'm probably going to be end up, you know, having to revisit her site a couple times now. All right, cool. Now that we know that we um, have to unlock these markers... I'm going to go and do that Okay. while I make my way to the next quest. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 thank you. No zombie. Not today. No zombie today. It's Wednesday. Unfortunately, I think I left my bike up there, though. Oh, my Jesus. I, <laughs> I totally missed the shortcut. That I Skyrimmed for myself last time. I'm going to have to remember that. F for next time. Oh, we're still doing good on gas. So we're just going to get going. Somebody in distress? What is that? Oh, shit. Okay. No thanks. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. Ow. Jeez. Not moving. Not moving. Not Am I dead? I'm dead, right? Should I just... Jesus. Oh, my God. That sniper rifle's got a punch to it it's got like knockback plus two or something all right my dude that's not cool gonna have to take care of that 
<laughs> Yeeted. Bye. Don't sneak up on me like that. Okay, well, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But still, that was like quite the whammy. It's like first... I ran into a deer. Crashed my motorcycle into a deer. Then I got hit by the sniper. Then that lady came up behind me and started choking me. It's like, wow, that escalated quickly. Okay, bike time. With room, room. Let's go. Is going off road now. Hitting the back country. Wee. Okay, historical marker. What do we have here? That's kind of interesting. The unknown mailman. Is that like the unknown soldier? Ah! A memorial to mailmen everywhere. Unnamed. Ow. You need some work, Blam. 42. Not not a high number, but not a bad number. It's technically the answer to life, so that'll do. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm glad we could get you some work, Blam, Ashley. We're just hanging out here, going back and finding memorials that I had missed, and gathering resources along the way. And I fought a bear. I don't know if you caught that. That, that was crazy. Water break, stretch, sesh. Thank you so much, Ashley. I'll take the stretch first. Because it feels good. That's not water. It's coffee. There's your water. Yeah, I fought a bear. So I was doing... I found... I... I heard someone inside of a house, so I searched the house, and we found a girl. Her name was Lisa. We were going to rescue Lisa, but when I went to get on my bike, there was, like, a bear pretty much guarding it, like, blocking our path back to my bike. So the game forced me <clears throat> to defeat the bear in combat, which I thought was funny. Sorry, Mr. Deer. <laughs> I keep doing that. It's like the third deer I've run over. Well, might as well utilize what we can. Don't want to let this go to waste. But yeah, I thought it was funny because I managed to like lead the bear in a big circle and loop back around to my bike. And I thought the game would let me just run away and escape the bear, but apparently that was not an option. <laughs> the game told me, defeat the bear. So yeah, that was kind of crazy. I jumped up on a roof and then he swatted me down. I realized most of my guns weren't going to do much damage, so I had to start throwing the only thing I had, which was Molotov cocktails. And that made the bear even more mad.
And now we're riding around the country looking for landmarks. We did rescue Lisa, by the way, after we defeated the bear. And we took her back to Tucker's camp. Sadly, her family wasn't waiting for her like she was hoping. But in my opinion, she's much better off living with other people versus on her own. Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh? What is this? Ah, Jesus! Oh, I missed that crit hit. I missed that combo. I got this. Hang on. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp. Where? Where? I'll go. I'll go. Is there a way to check what my trust level is with each camp? That'd be really useful right now. Because I've been trying to build up enough, co ugh, enough trust for Copeland to buy some guns. Or actually, no. Either way, I've been trying to build up trust for Copeland. It'd be nice to know if that has been... What I've given so far has been substantial Peaceful enough. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Thank you so much. I thought I was going to die in there. Tell him it was Deacon. Looks like oh, I'm well. just short just for a trust running, level stay up. Off the roads. Do I have, like, stats? Inventory, supplies, materials, crafting. Progress, collectibles, trophy, maybe progress? Collectibles? I don't know. I don't know if there's a an area where I can just look at that number without having to go into camp. What do we got here? That's interesting. Robber's Pass. <laughs> Quite fitting. I just I literally just got mugged unsuccessfully. There was an attempt at a mugging. There's quite a few landmarks scattered around here. Because I realized I was like uncovering them on the on the map, but I didn't like fully notice that I had to examine them in order to complete the whole thingy, the quest thingy. Proper terminology, quest thingy. I'm gonna get some gas over here while I can. There's a gas station right up here. Oh boy. <laughs> Cyber's helping. Ooh, look at this ramp. Whee! Ooh, 61. Improvements. Most definitely. That's like a 50% improvement. Yay! Love to see it. Top her off for me, Deke. That's it. It's all she wrote. I feel like that's something Deacon would say. It's all she wrote.
What's going on over here? That's the fourth deer I've run over. Third one today. Fourth one overall. Am I going to need like a deer? A deer hit counter? <laughs> Oh god, this looks scary. I've cleared this camp, right? Are there enemies back here? Everything here looks very, very threatening. Is that a lawnmower blade? Is this a Dark Souls reference? There's like a blade sticking out of a bonfire. I'm here for it. I love it. I was just thinking today, I'm like really tempted to start streaming a Souls game of some sort. Maybe Dark Souls 2. So I feel like I feel like Dark Souls 2 doesn't get enough love. Or is that just me? Where the hell am I? Have I been here before? I definitely have, right? Is this danger? Am I in danger? Well, there's nothing down here, but... I seriously do not remember having cleared this area out before. <laughs> I never knew that. The Lava River Caves. Yeah, this just seems to be a huge maze. I'm not allowed up there? Well, I'm just going to try my best to get back to the bike. Because I feel like I'm just going to get lost in there. I feel like I'm already lost. Hopefully I can climb up here. Yes, thank you. I'm hoping I can just climb my way out. And that this won't be as difficult as it seems.
Sounded like a lady was screaming. A very brief shriek. Learn something new every day. The Modoc warrior. What the fuck just happened? Use scrap to repair your bike. Yes, I know about that. Jesus, ow. Just got clotheslined. Fuck me. Stay the hell away, guys. I was not expecting that at all. So funny. Cyber just sent me a picture of Artie watching the stream from her office. From her desk in the other room. I was wondering where he was. She says, yes, I trapped him. <laughs> Aww. You're definitely going to have to post these to Discord, Cyber. The world deserves to see the cuteness of Artie. We gotta repair the engine. Wow, zero percent. Let's see. Open lasts. I have no scrap on me. Where did all my scraps go? Hopefully I can find a few around here. Ooh, another espresso machine. Scrap. These people really love their coffee. This town, it's like every establishment. Well, lucky for us, there's just a few scraps just laying around. I didn't realize that we were needing scraps so badly. Definitely would have kept more of a lookout for that. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. It's better than nothing. You know what? I'm just going to leave my bike here. Go the rest of this um, way on foot. Yo, what's going on? Arson, good to see you. How are you doing, friend? How is your Wednesday going? Hope you're having a chill. Must be evening for you, right? We're just hanging, exploring, finding all these landmarks I failed to read. More Lava River Cave. I'm floofy. Doggo is defloofing? Oh boy, yeah, dude. You, gotta, you have a husky, right? I can only imagine. My diet is now 80% floof. Jeez. I had a pepperoni and floof pizza for lunch. Wow. Floof diet. Well, I, I'm happy to hear that you're well, well, well in the midst of your dog's floof. <laughs> it's so funny. I had a friend. He had a pair of dogs. They were both white, but there was different species. Everyone thought that they were siblings, but they were actually species different breeds they were different breeds of dogs one of them was a white german shepherd and the other one was like a, a labrador of some sort they both shed so much oh my god it was insane how much floof there would be thinking about having floof hitas for dinner welcome hello how are you doing how am I doing? I'm doing very well. The top unsolved mysteries. Took me a second to suss that one out. 
I kept wanting to say Thado puns. The top unsolved mysteries. How are you doing? Welcome. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Thank you so much for the lurk, Arson. But yeah, speaking of floof, he, my friend would literally just pet, just pet the dogs for like 30 seconds. And then he would just like hold his hand up and you'd have like an entire just floof ball there. And one day he like got a bunch of it and made like a toupee out of it. And he like put it on his dog's head. Oh my God, it was so funny. You have not lived until you've seen a dog with a floof toupee. Yes, hello, welcome. Are you a fan of the Days Gone? This is my first time playing and I'm having such a good time. Posted cakes in Discord. Oh my god, I can't wait to see. Arson, I know you're lurking. But in case you are listening, I have a question for you. What are these, like, stacked rocks? What is this? What's this all about? I have an option to knock them over. I've knocked over a few already, but I don't really know what purpose they serve gameplay-wise. I think that's really the only thing in here of interest. I'm kind of a... F <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Fuck. Run. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, no, they're right out there. They're right behind me. Thank you so much for the follow. Is that you on, on PSN? Much appreciated. Ah! Jeez! No! That was so close. Thank you for the arson shout-out, by the way. Hopefully they lose interest and just... Walk the other way. Also still lurking. We had a lot of lurkers. I appreciate it. Captions are not working? Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I don't have the... I don't have the plugin installed that Tim uses because for some reason my Google Chrome is like being finicky with the website that the the, uh, the plugin is on. So sorry about that. No closed captions until I can get that figured out. Nice. Thank you for the PSN follow. Is there a story for my name for Blammer Bros? So yeah, welcome to Blammer Bros. My name is Ben. It's a t it's a duo streaming team. The other Blammer Bro is Tim. He's usually working on the weekdays, so I'm streaming by myself right now. We're doing some days gone. But if you keep your eyes on this channel, in the future, sometimes it'll be me streaming, sometimes it'll be Tim, sometimes it's both of us. I don't know, we liked we liked the word blammer. We thought it was funny, we thought it was like a... Worked as a play off of the, the Hammer Bros from Mario. The enemies from the Mario Brothers games, Hammer Bros. I don't know, just like, we, we started saying it one day and like, we couldn't... We couldn't think of a better name, so we just stuck with Blammer Bros, and, uh, I don't know. It's fun. It's goofy. Favorite candy, Reese's or Snickers? Oh my god, Reese's was my favorite for the longest time when I was, when I was younger. Snickers is, like, definitely a good standard to have. Always. Um, by the way... Top Unsolved Mysteries. I know you're a little new here. We have the blam command. It's just a neat little thing. See how, you know, what your blam levels are looking like. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, that's not a good sound. 
another bounty. Just hop off my bike and immediately get screeched at. That's kind of interesting. Belknap's volcano. Where's the volcano at? Is that what this big mountain is? See, it's to the west. Is that is that the volcano? What is that? Just a lone zombie. Oh, there's a couple of them just wandering around the countryside. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to give us a follow on the Twitch end of things too. How, why did my bike fall over? I really have to find... I gotta find some more scraps before I... Oh no, is that like a swarm? Are they care? I think we got mostly all the landmarks so far. I'm gonna head for this gas station. So we can fuel up. Mm, no, no thank you. Bad touch. Oh my god, thank you so much for the follow, Top Unsolved Mysteries. Double follow. Very kind of you. Much appreciated. God, this is not good. My bike is also not in good shape either. So I'm going to try to keep a lookout for abandoned cars, because those usually have scrap underneath the hood. The biggest problem is I think that if I've looted already, there's not going to be more scraps. Like, I don't think... I'd be really surprised if scraps respawn in this game. What am I playing this game on? I'm playing on the PS4 playing and streaming directly from the PS4. Top Unsolved Mysteries, 33% bland. Kind of helped. It's a good start. You're a third of the way there. Burning out this nesting zone. Yeah, I do have to finish burning this out. Nest. <laughs> Gotta be right around here. Apparently inside this building. I don't see it from here. All right. Well, let's start looting. I need some scraps. I should take a bandage. Yeah, PS4. We're streaming from the PS4, playing on PS4. You're saving up for an Xbox. Very nice. I have never owned an Xbox in my entire life. Sadly. I wish it were different. But, you know, for most of my life, it's like if I'm going to, you know, you can only really afford one game system at a time. <laughs> Especially growing up. It's like it's not like my parents were going to go out of out of their way to get me an extra system. So I always had to choose between PlayStation or Xbox, like many people, I'm sure. Now that I'm older, I can use my own money to buy whatever I want. However, there's only so much of it out there. <laughs> I'm not yet in the position to just be buying extra consoles all willy-nilly. Especially since I would like to save up and buy a PC. That's the dream.
But yeah, I mean, I got this PS4 in like 2015, I think. What year did what year did Metal Gear Solid 5 come out? Because that's the game that inspired me to to buy my PS4. Does that work? Apparently not. That's kind of lame. Looks like the Molotov exploded like... Oh, no, it actually did work. And I'm being really stupid and just running around out in the open now. Hopefully I can outrun them and they lose interest. Without attracting more of them. Did I shake him? I still have not found any scraps. All of that looting I did, not a single scrap. You know, it'd be really cool if you would chill out, lady. Oh my god. I'm just collecting friends as I go here. Alex, thank you so much for the water break. So good to see you, friend. It's so funny. I think... Ashley, let me take that water break. Ashley was in here earlier, and she did the water break, stretch break combo. And I was, like, so ready to say, thank you, Alex. Because I didn't see whose name it was first. I just saw the two redemptions in a row. And I'm like, oh, that's a classic Alex move. <laughs> so that was funny. I was, like, so ready, and I'm like, oh, no. It was someone else. Look at that. What a surprise. Bought Ark and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Nice. Are you talking about Ark? Like the... What's it called? It's like survival evolution or something i don't know i've played a little bit of arc it's it's really fun unfortunately I, i've only played by myself so and that game kind of has a, a bit of a learning curve assassin's creed black flag i have not played but i hear great things you drink sunny d I have not had Sunny D in forever. But I would love to. Oh, damn. Talking about Cyber like peeks her head. And you guys talking about Sunny D in there? Now, do I have to, like, make this ramp? I've definitely been on the other side of this river. But I... Because I approached from the other side. Melon! You, Melon. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You didn't enjoy your Gatorade flavor. You're always more than welcome to try again for a different Gatorade flavor. Okay, now... Ooh, no! They ate all the cows. Ew, that's so creepy. Like, it makes sense, but just like, uh The fact that they actually rendered and added that into the game. That's next level, dude. That was kind of weird. 
Am I trapped in here now? The fuck? What is that noise? Oh no. Did he see me? Shit. Oh fuck. Zombies can't climb ladders, can they? Oh, we're about to find out. I don't think they can. So far, so good. Wow, a fire axe does more damage than my machete. I kind of want to switch those out now. But it's way less durable. Let's pick it up. Oh god, there's so many of them down there. I'm just going to use a Molotov. Can I? <laughs> Toasted zombie. Zombie Q. Zombie BQ. Something like that. That's one way to do it. I think I got rid of them all. Not that guy. Can I sneak? Nope. He saw me already, apparently. Phew. Still super low on scraps, too. I can't believe it. I'll be back later. Finish burning you out. Is there a nest in that barn? I was I was assuming there would be, but I didn't find one. There's five nests all together. I found one. There's two more on the map. I'm wondering if there's going to be one, like, around here. There's another nest. Well, let's burn it up. We found it. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. I'm not doing a good job of keeping my ex repaired. God damn, there's literally freaks everywhere. It does so much good damage, but I can't. It's so weak. I can't keep using it like that. It's going to bust. And I'm going to be shit out of luck. All right, here we got the nest. Sledgehammer. Alright. What's the game plan here? Which way am I going to run? Ooh, scraps. Yes. That's good. I was not expecting scraps in the trunk. More scraps? Fuck yeah. Need this. Also got Val Valkyrie Chronicles and Resident Evil 6. Nice. I have not played either of those. I've heard of Resident Evil 6. I was watching our friend Beyond Two Dark Souls here, Alex. I was watching him stream some of it. That was fun. 
in October. Right on. Oh shit, there's a lot of zombies around. I think that guy saw me. Eyes like a hawk, I swear, this guy. Luckily, only two. Wow, man, my fire axe is almost donezo. They're fun? Heck yeah. I'm a big fan of Resident Evil. I love... I'm, I've played 1 through 4 a lot. I've never gotten around to 6, though. That's like the one... The one I haven't tried out yet. Shit. And that's pretty much donezo for my axe. All right, is it a good idea to search this house? There might be some good looting if we don't have to do too much shooting. What do we have up here? Well, we have a baseball bat. Better than nothing. Won't open. Door's locked. How do we figure I get up there? Is this door locked too? No. Okay, well. Gonna have to take the scenic route. Ooh, what do we have here? Proximity mine. Proximity bomb. And a tractor bomb. A hatchet. <sighs> if only I could repair. Go ahead and unlock this door. Is that a nest right there? It sure is, isn't it? Okay. Oh, you know what? I just thought of this right before I jumped down. Would I be able to throw this from all the way over here? Nope. That would have been too easy. About what you should buy for November. I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Have you played um, Bloodborne? Another nest. That's cool. Or any Dark Souls games for that matter? If you're looking for something on the PS4... Specifically, Bloodborne is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Such a good game. Not for everyone, though, but I think everyone should at least try it out. Let's see. Did anybody see me run up here? They, t they definitely... At least one of them did. I don't know how easily they can get up here to me. Oh, shit. That was quick. Jeez. I'm just gonna get on my bike and run. Fuck this. Not worth it. <gasps> Shit! Oh, God. There goes my axe. And I'm about to fucking die, too. Go. Go, 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 Deacon. Go. Well, I was hoping I would get scraps for my bike, but damn, dude. 
That's a lot of Zeds. Oh, I can turn my headlamp off too. That's good. Mountain Blade. Ooh, I have people have suggested Mountain Blade to me. Sounds like a good game. I should get around to getting that. Did anyone see me? Sounds like they did. Fuck. I can't do this. I can't keep doing this. Finally, that guy died. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. no. Get it. I really wanted that nest residue. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, boy. That was real close. Jesus just barely made that one. Oh, look, it's the pancake. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember this area now. Hopefully, we can find a good spot to park the bike and hide. This playground looks decent enough. Technomancer. Ooh. I always see that game on sale. I should look into that one as well. It looks fun. Cool name, too. It's like the kind of game I would buy for the name alone. I need a new melee weapon, too. It's not going to open. This door is locked. There must be another way in here. Too many memories. What's going on here? Is this like the church we used to go to or something? I guess not. Everything is locked. You bought it five days ago. Heck yeah. Fuck. He definitely saw me. these tents on top of the that building there it's an interesting touch it's been fun right on what's your favorite part about the game well I guess I'm going to take a 2 by 4 because I have nothing better on me it's better than nothing. Ooh, a bumper sticker. This is new. It seems like there's a lot of collectibles in this game. Ooh, scraps. I need those. It's a hot commodity these days. Nice. Lawnmower blade. Pick that back up. I think that's mostly it in terms of loot in here. Is there any zombos around? I need scraps really badly. Anywhere I can pick up some extra scraps, I'm more than happy to except go out of my way to explore Ooh, dead ripper you get to make choices that affects the story i see that's what i love about rpgs too it's all about the immersion in the story 
the choices that you make mean something and they matter. And the more that they change the story and they change the world that you're in, like, you know, the better that the game can be, the better that you're, the more you're engaged in the story. Makes me think about Telltale. Ooh, you like the Telltale games a lot? Those games have a lot of fans. I've The only one I've played, I think, is Game of Thrones. Because I was a huge Game of Thrones fan when the, when the show was still coming out. Those were the good old days, you know, waiting each week for the new episode and then you'd watch it on Sunday night and then like Monday would roll around and everyone at work, everyone would be talking about what just happened. Plan on doing four different playthroughs of the Technomancer. Ooh, four scraps. Dude, hell yeah. We're scrap rich now. Damn, son. Look at my scraps. I don't know what happened, like, that last half hour, I was poor. I was scrap poor. So you're going to do four different playthroughs so you can see all of the different choices in the game? I'm always very tempted to do that. It's just a matter of time, you know. There's only so much time in the day to play the games you want to play. Otherwise I'd play every game multiple times to see the story. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Totally. Now let's burn up this nest. Get the heck out of Dodge before they chase after me. Where's that last one at? It's right by the gas station. Do I not have a melee? Yeah, I have a machete. Why does he not have that out? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. They're already chasing me. Well, up on the roof we go. I really want that. There's like a med kit right there or something. That would come in handy. Okay, just making sure that we are crafting everything that we need. So that very last zombie nest is over there. I don't know if it like if I wait long enough they'll just lose interest in me or if they'll just stay here forever. Oh nice, you make companions too. Yeah. That's another really cool thing about RPGs is all the different companions and like sometimes party members if you're having like a multi a multi party a multi character party type of game like a Final Fantasy type thing. Or just like traveling companions or sidekicks are always really fun. They all they each have their own like different stats and specialties and abilities. It's uh yeah. Definitely adds a whole nother layer of choice to to a game that's already filled with choices. Which is nice. Did did someone see me? Yep, that did. That guy did. Just let me open up the trunk first. God. There wasn't even anything useful in that. In the trunk there. I could have totally skipped it. Hmm. 
All right, we're going to hit up this very last nest so that we can keep moving. Fuck. All right, game plan. We're just going to go up the ladder here. It's kind of silly. Oh, you give them armor and weapons too? Yeah. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Good choice, Unsolved Mysteries. Is it cool if I call you Unsolved Mysteries? Is there another name that you would prefer? Either way is cool with me. Just want to make sure you're comfortable. But yeah, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups is one of my favorites of all time. Cyber as well. So where is this nest at? It's in the very corner of this gas station. It's quite unfortunate for me. Mystery? You got it, mystery. No problemo. Are you a fan of unsolved mysteries? Because I am. I love true crime and unsolved mysteries. Hopefully that works. I don't know if that was a direct hit or not. Yep, we got it. Beautiful. Nice, we got another skill point too. Now it'll be safer right through here. Let's uh let's cash that in. You like Unsolved Mysteries? Nice. Me too. I used to watch that show probably way too much when I was a kid. Just because I think my my brothers would watch it, my older brothers and my parents, and, you know, I would kind of just catch it in the background. One of the scariest theme songs. Still kind of freaks me out to this day. But good stuff all around. I also am a. I enjoyed the like revival series that Netflix kind of brought back. It was very interesting, but it's so like. You watch one of those episodes, and you you know you want the answer, you want the mystery to be solved at the end, <laughs> and it's literally the name of the show is Unsolved Mystery. Uh, let's see here. Okay. We got all of the nests here. So we're going to hit up the bike. We're going to repair because now we have scraps. We might need some gas too. How are we looking? Definitely need a repair. Oh, we need gas for sure. What I can do. So there goes most of the scraps I just found. There should be a gas can around here somewhere. Oh god. Along with plenty of zombies. There we go. Fuel. Take this with. Where am I from? We are based in Chicago. Chicago, USA. Ooh, is this a sword? Oh, nice. Machete. Fuck yeah. We found ourselves another machete. 
back in action. I'm glad I came up here. I, I noticed that I, I don't think I've explored this area at all. Plenty of scraps. Love it. Ooh, nice. You're from L.A. Very cool. I'm always slightly jealous of the California weather. I, uh, I've never been to L.A., but I recently visited California for the first time back in July. I went to San Francisco and Sacramento, too. Oh, he's, oh, okay. You're from Cali. You live in Virginia. Okay, well. Never mind about that nice California weather. I guess that would have messed with their heads. Oh, was that a suicide note? Interesting. You grew up there? Right on. Seems like a fun place to grow up. I'm sure Virginia's cool, too. I've never been to Virginia, though. I couldn't tell you from first-hand experience. I do gotta say, it is pretty fun just casually exploring and looting the world in this game. There's quite a lot to be found. Especially resources. Oh, just a regular 2x4. Okay, we're gonna head back to the bike. And we're gonna hit up this Nero checkpoint. Marion Tunnel Checkpoint. Hopefully, we can do something. Thank you, Alex, for the water break. You love IHOP pancakes? That is awesome. I love pancakes, too. We were just, we were just talking about pancakes at the very beginning of the stream because uh, there's a pancake house around here. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Here, let me show you some pancakes. Mystery. Might as well get some scraps here if I can. I do tell you what, though. I have not been to an IHOP in forever. I can't even remember the last time I've been to an IHOP. But I have had pancakes. Not too long ago. I wish pancakes were a thing that happened more often in my world. There you go, mystery. Hope you're looking. Here's a gigantic stack of flapjacks for you. With Paul Bunyan leaning up on it. There's your pancakes for the day. Alright, let's get out of here. Pancakes are good, aren't they? Extra syrup, lots of butter. Here's the question, though. Do y'all just like regular pancakes? Or... Something a little fancier. Chocolate chip, blueberry, strawberry. Are strawberry pancakes a thing? I don't know. I'm sure you can... If you try hard enough, they are. If you pay enough money. <laughs> okay, here's that Miro checkpoint. Does not look like I've been here yet. I don't recognize. Ooh, yeah, blueberry. I like blueberry pancakes. I think they're my favorite. If I had to choose... Plant, oh, sorry, I almost thought I picked up something I didn't want. Plant pancakes are good too. Don't get me wrong. But if I if I had to choose a fancy pancake, I think blueberries my go-to. 
Chocolate chip is really good as well. Last time I had chocolate chip pancakes, I was like, man. These are so good, I was not expecting them to be that good. I don't know. This, this looks vaguely familiar, but I think that's just because all of these Nero checkpoints look kind of similar. I'm going to make sure we're going to disable every single alarm that we find. Can we, like, cut these, too? Is there, like, a way? Cookie and cream? Yeah, that sounds good, too. I like cookies and cream, like ice cream and milkshakes. That's always, that's always a nice choice. Like an Oreo blizzard. Do we have a fuse? Yes. We have a fuse. Nice. We should be able to make a bomb of some sort, right? Fuse means explosive, generally speaking. What do we have here? Creepy tunnel? I don't want to go down the dark, creepy tunnel. Not yet. We'll save that. We'll save that for another time in the very near future. Do, 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 do. Yo, Aaron, how you doing, man? 60%. That's a good start. Welcome to the chill Wednesday, days gone stream. Wednesday's gone. How's your day going, dude? Ooh, you love barbecue ribs? Me too, mystery. Fuck, I haven't had ribs in forever. Was just hanging out in Lizzie's Discord for a couple hours. Oh, nice. We're jokingly canceled her on Twitter. Oh, boy. Was she streaming from Discord? That sounds cool. Stream has been pretty good. We've had had a lot of friends stop by and, and say hello and lurk, and we're just chilling here now, chatting with Mystery. Talking about our favorite foods. It always comes back to food here. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza. Ooh, interesting. Usually when people say pineapple, it's it's like ham. It's like the first time I've heard someone mention pepperoni and pineapple. I love pepperoni. Not so much a big fan of the pineapple. Sharing her screen. Nice. That's awesome. That's like the hidden stream. You know what I mean? That's the one that always throws me off, the Discord streaming. People will be like, oh, you know, such, such and such was playing, was streaming this game. I'm like, what? I didn't see a notification. Nobody told me. But that's really cool. I've tried streaming from Discord once. It was not, <laughs> it was not happening. You love Fruit Punch. Nice. Cyber loves Fruit Punch, too. Like tropical, like uh, not tropical punch, Hawaiian punch. Are you a fan of the Hawaiian punch? There's, yeah, that's the thing. There's no subtle way to check them out. You just like pop in and Discord is like sure to announce. It's like, bloop, bloop, bloop. It's like, oh, who just, who just, who just entered? Who's snooping around? Yeah, as soon as you click. My PC won't let me share. Yeah, I tried it one time. I think I was just running like an emulator with a PS1. It was Tomb Raider. I was like, man, if I could do a Tomb Raider Discord stream, that would be so much fun. So I tried it emulator on my MacBook. It was not it was not a good time. I think I brought up Discord on my phone to see what it looked like on the playback. It was so choppy. If a Nero MMU needs a fuse, spares can be found God searching the checkpoint. Fuse blown. Where? Where's the fuse even? Oh. Oh, this is it. Cool. 
Yeah, now we're in business. Luckily for us, we found the fuse already. Well, let's do it. I was looking around for a generator. Power's off. Figures. Where's the generator at? Yes. Yeah, Hawaiian Punch, man. For some reason, Hawaiian Punch always reminds me of going to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. I don't know why. I think she always had Hawaiian Punch, and, like, I never had it around. Like, my parents never bought it. Like, it just wasn't a thing that I ever really had unless I was there for like Thanksgiving or Christmas and I always had to have some Hawaiian punch oh the oh my god I'm so stupid the generator was right here I didn't trust my initial re like guess I'm like oh yeah this is it but it looked different it threw me off it's slightly different from the other generators green we've encountered are good green lights are Are we good? Do we have power now? Nice. All right. Here we go. What? Another oh, micro recorder. One well, of these is going to explain what the hell you guys are doing out, out here. For 12 hours, I've got two sick children in the back. We need... We don't have any water. We just need a little bit of water. Ma'am, you must return to your vehicle now. Eddie, you got some bottled water. Oh, here we go. Another Nero injector. Good. All right, what are we going to boost? Which stat are we going to choose? Oh, I haven't even... Okay, so focus skill I don't have yet. Is there a way to exit this without using one? Stressful. That's stressful uh, AF. Like Boozer said. Oh. Way to go. Backed up at these checkpoints. Waiting to die. Oh my god, Carly. Pancakes have been eaten. House is clean. Life is good. Love that. Love to hear it. I just looked at your photos. Homemade vegan cinnamon banana pancakes. Whew. God dang. Carl's? <laughs> I was, dude, I was really looking forward to see what game Carl's was streaming. Holy shit, these are great, Carly. GG on the pancake. Your pancake game is strong. It's beautiful. Mysteries, you love Five Guys Burgers? It's pretty good stuff. I haven't had Five Guys in a couple years now. The thing that I remember, pretty solid burger, and they give you a shitload of fries. I think even the small. I can't remember if it comes in sizes, but I remember asking for a small fry, and they just, like, threw a bucket of fries in my face. Loved it. Playing no game. <laughs> Went all out. <laughs> Gotta get those HD picks. They are amazing. Some banana. Fuck yes. That's, like, restaurant quality. Nice plates, by the way, too. Some people don't realize that uh, a nice plate makes all the difference in a food pick. You love anime mystery? Nice. What kind of anime do you love? I know Carl is a huge anime fan too. Grandma's plates. Oh, that's so sweet. I love the color. It's a really nice like design on the on the edge. I am Weebo. <laughs> Love it. 
Also, did we shout out our friend A Bomb P19? Did we? I don't think we did. We did not here. Dragon Ball Super? Oh my god, I have not watched any Dragon Ball. Please don't judge me. <laughs> Please don't judge me for my lack of weeb. I watched a lot of Digimon when I was a kid. Does that count? One Punch Man, I've heard great things about that. Tim, the other Blammer Bro, is a huge One Punch stan. Also, check out Beyond Two Dark Souls. He was the one who I mentioned was playing Resident Evil 6. He's playing Resident Evil Re Revelations number two right now. Aaron's streaming Resident Evil 7. I love all these Resident Evils. It's amazing. Love to see it. Ooh, One Piece. I've heard so much about that game. Um, that game. That anime. Mm. I still haven't watched any of it. I have no idea what it's about. But people seem to love Ow. it. Feeling stronger already. Like, people that don't even watch anime regularly will still watch One Piece. I find that amazing. Code Giz? Giz? I don't know what that is. I haven't heard of that one. I've never seen that word in my life. Pardon my mispronunciation. Okay. Nice. That was easy. Cool. We did this Nero research, Vulo, Nero research checkpoint research. Making contact. Oh shit. Cool. Interesting. I might hold off on that one for now. When do I get nitrous boosts? All right, we're going to go to this landmark on our way to Copeland. And I'm going to check out Copeland's camp for nitrous. Although I don't think we have any yet because I need more trust. I need trust level two. But we're only about 250 points away from that, so that's good. Carly, wish I can get into One Piece. Put so much time into Naruto. It's just... I don't know if I can commit to another long anime. Yeah, that's what I hear. It's like quite extensive. Oh, code. Is it code Greece? You got it the second time, Ben. No worries. Oh, I did. Now I'm extra con. Gi. Giaz. Code Giaz. Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade works is super good. I really liked that. Nitrous Bros. Love it. I need some Nitrous Bros right now. Alex recommends Future Diary. Not long. Doesn't have any reboots. Super fucked up at time. That sounds cool to me. It's on Netflix and the animation is Chef's Kiss. Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade. We're going to have to make an anime list now. Fire Force. Ooh, that sounds fun. Heck yeah. Where is my bike? I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. That coffee is sneaking up on me now. So I will be right back. I'll turn up some of the background music. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Hopefully so. hilarious somebody just sent me a want to become famous whisper wow the bots are getting smarter they're now whispering us the links okay i'll be right back
thank you for your patience while I took a break. Taking it to the DMs. I know. It was so funny. I just saw, I'm like, what is this? What is this little, like, purple rectangle at the bottom of my browser window? And I'm like, oh, it's a whisper. And it's in Japanese or Chinese, you know, it was in, like, kanji or whatever you call it. I'm like, okay, this this should be fun. <laughs> this looks promising. And it was literally the same exact message you see everywhere. Hey, you want to become famous? Buy followers? Go to blah, 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 dot, buyfollowers.com. You like candy corn? Oh, my God, Alex. You like candy corn? Jeez. What's going on, Andrew? How are you doing? Good to see you, friend. 28%. Not bad. I've seen a lot worse. Oh, God. <laughs> Oops. Blammed him even lower. All right, we just unlocked this checkpoint. Which means we're done. So we're going to head out. And we're going to do this as quietly as possible. It'd be nice. The fewer zombies we have to attack, the better, in my opinion. I think we're in good shape here. Painless. Absolutely painless. What's that on the map, though? That's kind of... What is that? Is that just the icon for the, the camp itself? I guess so. Alright, I'm just going to keep moving. I'm pretty sure I got everything there. Damn it, Aaron. <laughs> Hilarious. Get coffee and avoid Andrew's ire. Grab some for me, too. Just kidding. I've already had my coffee today. I should probably stop. How's it going today? It's going pretty well. We're having another relatively chill day with days gone. Relatively chill days gone. We did uh, we did a story mission and now I'm going around the map and cleaning up some of the things that I haven't taken care of yet. I kind of just been driving by, but now we're doing all of our completionist tasks. Looks like there's someone in, in need over here. Where are they? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking just got tackled. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad. Thank you so much for the duck shout out. Thank you for the cyber shout out. Thank you for the Aaron shout out. Thank you for the Beyond Two Dark Souls. You could tell that Cyber was on a call or something because she's coming back and shouting out all the people that she missed earlier. Cy Andrew needs help. Oh, it's the gun locker. Okay. That's good to know. We did not miss anything. <laughs> Run? Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> that would have been a good idea. It's too late now. We'll try again. I might just avoid that random encounter next time. Bye! See you later, zombies.
see, like, this blue, there will be, like, a random blue mark here. Oh, I have to use my powers. Oh. Interesting. What do we got? You're mine now. Always need this. What am I looking at here? Oh, these. Okay, I see. Oh, did he run this way? No, the game clearly steered me over here. I'm just having such a hard time seeing these footprints. There's one right here. One here. Does it just, like, stop? It's like impossible to see these footprints, I swear. I don't <laughs> I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Do I have any advice for new streamers? Yeah, I mean I think the biggest like not biggest, but I think like the most common denominator you could tell for most new streamers is to just go around to other people's streams, other people who are, you know, successful, popular, fun streamers, go around and see who you enjoy to watch and kind of like take a mental note and think, what are they doing that I like, you know, that I enjoy to watch and try to do something, something similar. Like not necessarily copying them, but like realizing where the enjoyment comes from their stream and, you know, implementing that into your own stream. And I think this also goes hand in hand with just spend some time on Twitch, get used to the culture, the etiquette, you know, the do's and don'ts of, of streaming and, and being a part of a streamer's community. And, you know, along with that, you know, be a part of, be a part of the community, be a part of other streamers communities and try to make friends. And, you know, naturally people will start to come towards, you know, will start to gravitate to you. That's, that's what, that's my most basic advice is just spend some time on Twitch, make some friends and learn as much as you can about the culture and the etiquette of streaming. Aaron, just do it if you're interested. That's another big thing, too. Don't get ca caught up in your viewership. Play games you enjoy or want to play and be patient. It takes time to grow. That's a big thing, too, is to be patient. I think it's easy to look, you know, to watch another streamer and see what they're doing right and think, like, you know, how come I'm not? How come I'm not at that level yet? But it, it, everything takes time, especially something like streaming. Got to take a closer look. Oh, there zombie. The road. Two years ago, that would have gone splat. Yeah, what am I looking for here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. What have we got? There you are. If you don't have fun, the viewers won't have fun. Yes. Do it for you. Yes. Yes. That's like, yeah. Definitely rule number one is like, have fun yourself first. And to do it for yourself and not, you know, just to try to get viewers or clicks or likes or whatever. At the end of the day, it's 
truly a hobby, and you have to enjoy it first. What's going on here? Gotcha. Twitch is different from YouTube. Totally. I haven't. I we used to be on YouTube, but we didn't do streaming. When we were on YouTube, it was pre-recorded Let's Play videos that we segmented into Marauders more easily watchable now. videos. Yeah, it's not like you shoot at something that doesn't shoot back. Ooh, there's a lot of good advice flying around. I love this. Andrew, don't be afraid to mess up. Everyone messes up, and it's okay. Yes, totally. As long as you learn, and as, as long as you're improving, that's the important aspect. Where is this guy shooting me from? All the way down there? Roasted a punchy, a crunchy bar in the Discord. A punchy bar. A punchy bar sounds violent. The website I pulled this photo from calls it a Canadian icon. This looks really good. It's Cadbury. Cool. It almost looks like a Three Musketeers, but with with more variety in the filling. Looks like it's got some chocolate or some nougat like in the middle. Maybe some caramel? I don't know. Thank you so much for sharing. Give me, please. Which Discord? <laughs> Why isn't all of them? Just do a mass post and then get flagged as a bot for sending a picture to everyone's DMs within five minutes. Aaron, no one size fits all for success. What works for me might not work for, for you know, what works for Aaron might not work for me and vice versa. You got to find your niche. You got to roll with it. This is very true. This goes with what Duck is saying is like, it'll take some time to kind of fit into your groove and see what works for you, what works for your viewers and your community as a whole. I think the biggest thing to remember is that it's not going to be perfect right out of the gate. You might have a stream or two, it's a little rough, but like I said earlier, as long as you're learning from the mistakes that you make and you're doing like a trial and error process where you're constantly growing and building upon what you've learned, you're gonna be in good shape. You don't have to worry too much. I don't even have it, it's just my answer to the question of the day. Ooh, Blamcord, I love that. We're just gonna rename it Blamcord. You used to narrate when you streamed you would narrate you would narrate horror stories <laughs> Ashley you're a crunchy fan I'm loving this obvious caramello hands down what is that sounds vaguely familiar I can't type I typed in caragello and it was trying to give me alcoholic drinks Oh, cat! More Cadbury. Milk chocolate and creamy caramel. Interesting. I don't think I've I've never had these either. I'm not a big fan of caramel though, so <clears throat> it looks tasty, Andrew. But I'm gonna have to. I'll leave all those for you. I'll trade you. Oh, I had braces. You couldn't eat them. Oh my God, my heart goes out to you for those five years. What I was going for is that you might, for instance, and not all based on personal experience, find that all your streams are nonstop comedy of errors, and that's okay. Yes, this is true. It happens to everyone. It definitely happens to everyone. Is he one of the Ninja Turtles? If only, we wish. All of my streams are a mess, but I have fun. Well, yeah, it definitely comes with the territory. Streaming is such a technical hobby. Jesus Christ, this guy. I probably shouldn't be fighting a sniper with a pistol, but... Here we are. How many times do I have to shoot you? There we go. 
beautiful. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Ashley does a great job of of handling it and turning the quote-unquote mess into something enjoyable and entertaining for us all. Streams are high art. Can't wait to see what you managed to set on fire tonight. Can you even? Can you even set fires in Stardew? I'm not sure. I might have to watch the night stream to find out. See, I think if your streams are a mess, as long as you're having fun with that mess, you're good to go. I think the key is to just not get frustrated by the uh, the technical difficulties and the hang-ups, because that's when people are that's when people stop having fun. Just gotta roll with the punches, baby. Speaking of messes, messed berry man, how are you doing, dude? Welcome. Holy shit! Jesus, coming in hot. There's been quite a few hundred percents lately. I'm I'm loving it. Kitty got a hundred percent yesterday. Mixed berryman got one today. Aaron got one not too long ago. Quite the entrance. <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> Everyone. Oh yeah, 69 happened yesterday too. Nightbot has been a nice bot lately. For once in his life. For once in his short bot life. This has been a good week for me. 41. Meh. Oh, wait. I should probably fill up on gas. Eh. Screw it. Damn, that's quite a crowd of zombies I've got behind me. 76. That's good. 29. Um, okay. <laughs> Still 41%. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nightbot's like, nope. There's no helping you. Okay, okay, okay. Hurry, hurry, Deacon, hurry. Oh, the horror house. Yes, this is quite the horror house. Shit, shit, shit. Get away, get away. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is not good. I have overstayed my welcome. Nightbot doesn't want to budge on this one. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fine, this is fine. There we go, Ashley has the magic touch. Come on, get the fuck out of here, Deacon. There's no time. Get tackled off my motorcycle again. There you go. Also, Nick, did you did you update your your Twitch name color? It looks, looks slightly different. Or is it just me? Are my eyes different today? Time lapse? Time lapse time? Added that dumbass uh, better Twitch TV add-on, and it fucked up my color. Oh, no. So sorry. I haven't even... So. I haven't even messed around with Someone BT here? TV at all. I shoot a gun. It's a rifle. Not a gun. I Turn you purple on desktop mobile. and gray on mobile? Oh boy. Bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. 
Best way to hunt an animal is to track it. Maybe it was fucked up before and it just corrected it now. <laughs> see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Color code back in and it shows dark blue in my chat identity and brighter blue in chat. It's an ordeal. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it looks nice. It's a nice shade of blue. Oh, look, ghost deer. Is this like that quest in Skyrim where we have to hunt the uh, legendary... The legendary white deer? Well, okay, then. Look hard. Are we going on a hunt for her scene? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. Ooh, thank you so much for noticing. Yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. I try my best. I see a deer. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the tenth mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, cope. I know how to use a. So we're gonna be the Mario Bros for Halloween. We should. See? I got this. It's kind of a weird angle if you're if you're asking me, should I should I you really want me to shoot the deer in the butt? Last time I played a hunting game, which was forever ago. I thought you had to aim for the vital organs, you know, the heart or lungs. No spoilers, just wink twice if yes. If I was eating and got shot in the butt, I'd be pretty mad. <laughs> yeah, this, this deer is having a perfectly fine day, and I'm about to wreck it and his butt in one fell swoop. If it's a Groose costume, I call Waluigi. Oh my god, that's amazing. Got him. Nice he ran away. You have unlocked track quarry, the ability to track a wounded deer. Look for a blood trail. Tap R3 and hold square to search for oh, clues. damn it, it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Dude, if I encountered okay. someone dressed up as Waluigi, I would be ecstatic. I would shower them with compliments. Okay. See the blood spots? Waluigi doesn't get enough love. Yeah, I see him. Toad energy, but she does whatever she wants. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Cyber would make a really good toad. I don't know if she would go for like the typical Princess Peach or Daisy options. Coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Maybe she'll throw a curveball and be well, Wario? Oh my god. Say, no disrespect to Boozer. Shot through the butt, and you're to blame. <laughs> you give love a bad name. Overall, not bad. Yeah, thanks. Copeland is such an ass. I hate this guy. Hate is such a strong word. But it's fitting in this case. Fewer swarmers will emerge from their nest at night. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke. We can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Let me get the gate for you. Beautiful. All right, cool. Now that we're here, everything you done for the camp. A lot of folks alive. In Copeland's you. camp, we're gonna How's it going, Manny? repair and refuel. Stuff, you don't want to run out of fuel in the ship, that's for sure. 
Alright. What happened to all my credits? I have a... Oh! Wait a minute. Really? Okay. I guess there's two different currencies in the game? Each camp has its own credit yeah, system? You're looking. Cool. <laughs> I did not realize that. Days Gone is amazing. It is. It is a lot of fun. I'm having having quite the time here. So these are all these are all aesthetic, I believe. So we're not going to bother as much as I want a cool looking bike. Oh, that looks nice though. Front fender. It's only 100 bucks. Man, let's do it. Cosmetic choices are fun sometimes. You played it last year? Right on. Is it a game that you would consider replaying? Would you consider it that good? Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. You kind of want to play it again? That's a good sign. I mean, ever. Definitely a good sign. Oh, wait, these are more durable, though. Cool. Need anything else? Hold on. Okay. If it, do if it changes the durability, might as well get it. But if not, we're going to skip it. Engine. Can we have nitrous yet? Yes, nitrous. Fuck yeah! Nitrous! Fuck yeah! Coming again to save the motherfucking day, up, yeah! Beautiful. I'm gonna spend just all of my money here. Frame. Increases the amount of damage our bike can take fuel increases your bike's fuel capacity allows you to s your bike to store ammo ooh that seems nice i kind of want that 800 bucks or a gas tank or 450 for another frame we need more ga games like days gone i i agree with you a very well-made game with a fun open world good balance of casual gameplay and like yo so um, are you gonna buy anything like little detailed things like crafting and and buying upgrading your bike things like that different gameplay elements i guess you would say it's a very good balance I would like to save up like a thousand credits just to have as backup. Good choice. We're gonna upgrade man. the Good frame. Choice. And we're gonna upgrade the tank. This should last you for a while. And I think we're gonna hold off on everything else for now. Hey, man. Where is the old bike? Where's the old girl at? There she is. I used to be a cop, believe it or not. Farewell. I could have sworn I just it refueled it. Hey, Damon. Yeah, got Maybe not. Maybe stuff. I thought I did. I never Yo, actually. Refuel? There we go. Look me up if you need anything else. Manny. Camper's life, right? Okay, merchant. What can I get you? Going nuts. Pistol ammo. I'll Fill that you. shit up, dude. Sidearm suppressor. These are all full. These are all full. Okay. That's sad that I can't buy guns here. See you, Deke. Quite unfortunate. Ooh, Dying Light too. I haven't played the first Dying Light. That's it. But I've heard good things. <laughs> You're back. It's good to see you again. 
Hey, Jazzy. How's life treating you? No job available. Good to see you, Deke. Okay, I think hey, we hit up everything here. Going? Now that we have nitrous, how do we use it, first of all? Wait, fast travel is a thing? Really? Well, that's a fucking game changer. <laughs> I have not fast travel once. I didn't even think it was a feature in this game. You saw your brother play Far Cry 6? That's the new one, right? With, uh... What's his name? Gus Fring? Giancarlo Esposito. Let me get the gate for He's a really good actor. It's interesting that they've utilized Let's another go, Bruce, Breaking Bad slash Better Call Saul Damn alumni. Hey, Dave, so I was a big fan lives. of Far Cry 3. That's the one that I played the most. That's the one that I beat. Oh, okay. uh, and Voss was so good in that hunting. game. I'll see if I, can scare up some meat I while can't I'm remember out. the actor's name, but he plays Nacho in uh, yeah, Better Call I, Saul. I give me a few the prequel to Breaking Bad, which is just as good, I think. Shit. Can't wait for Wolf Among Us too. Nice. You're, yeah, you're a big fan of Telltale, aren't you? That's a Telltale game. Ashley was streaming Wolf Among Us. Okay. Here's the camp. St. John, this is Copeland. Manny says he's got a park for your bike. This is one we have to make a jump for. Swing by. Biggest question Fix though is up. how do we nitrous? Oh. Definitely don't run into a log. Ashley secretly is the wolf among us. Love it. That reminds me, we used to play like before the pandemic and all the lockdown and everything started. We used to play one night Ultimate Werewolf as much as we could. Which is like a shorter, more bite-sized version of like the actual werewolf game, or it's also known as Mafia. That's a lot of people have played it as Mafia. I've never played the full versions. I've only ever played the one night version. Those are always fun. She's always out there plotting. Yeah, when I see Wolf Among Us, it makes me think of One Night War Werewolf or whatever. Batman's your favorite hero? Nice. Yes, Batman. Cyber agrees with Batman. Spider-Man has always been my favorite hero. Spider-Man's number one. <laughs> she quickly changed back to Spider-Man. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm going to get focus shot. Mystery was just saying that Batman is, is uh, his favorite hero. Their favorite hero. Avengers is good. I, I like Avengers a lot. Okay, so... Okay, if we're doing that, then it's Spider-Man number one. Cool. And then Batman. And then Iron Man. And then everybody else. <laughs> Spider-Man... Oh, well, that's just the men's category. The men's category? There's a, I have a women's category also. Wait, maybe it's in, like, the pause menu? challenge menu I don't want to do that I wonder what that is though controls maybe it's like the L3 button that's sprint oh, shit. on bike you okay uh, yeah, fine. Perfectly fine. Iron Man is your favorite Robert Downey killed it as Iron Man that's for dang sure Detonator. Nitrous is X. I have to hold X down. I don't know if I have a meter or not. I just want to see the jump before I make it. I want to make some visual contact here. Know what we're working with. All right, let's let's try it. Wish me luck, chat. Hopefully, I don't kill myself ramming into a 
a wall. Nitrous! You! Oh! I just barely made it. Fuck yeah. Whew. That was so good. That was so close. Thank you, Cyber, for the GG. Is that Copeland just apologizing to me? That's kind of out of character. Dude, Robert Downey. He made that entire franchise. He sure did. Without the initial Iron Man and his performance as Tony Stark, we would not we would not have the MCU as we know it today. It was really him and Favreau that uh that made that shit happen. Deadpool, yeah, Deadpool was a lot of fun. It was great to finally see like a fully rated R superhero movie. Ryan Reynolds killed it. I'm happy that he like succeeded in his campaign to play Deadpool. I can't imagine anyone else playing it. Anything he does, except for Green Lantern. Cyber said anything he does except for Green Lantern. <laughs> Love The Walking Dead. Nice. I've been trying to get caught up, so be, be careful with spoilers. I, I just made it to the point where they meet me again, so. Oh, God. You love villains? Oh, nice. We get one of these right away. I'm going to increase my health. Ah. Well, I was feeling a little under the weather. My grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Hey, could you see the roster for next? Put a snare by a tree. About it. And you and can have dinner next time you come from. Two different radio conversations happening at once. Really? A headless snake can still bite. It's not an arm. Especially when I'm in. I check with the CEO. That's what's on the It's like a, it's like a bad conference call where everyone's just talking over each other. Whatever. Let me tell you. And nobody knows how to how to be quiet and listen. Oh, so you and your granddad to set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt you. licks. Yeah, that's real sporting. I guess none of that shit matters now. It sounds like a Discord party that's hilarious. Yeah, well, I guess you don't have to worry about your duty roster anymore, do you? Oh, you hear that? Cyber says that your Discord parties, Aaron, are always amazingly hilariously fun. More than a barrel of monkeys. She sounded sincere initially, but now I'm not sure if she's just messing around. <laughs> she's not being facetious. Sounds like a Discord party. <laughs> she meant it. She meant it. My girlfriend at the time was a huge Green Lantern fan. Oh my god, she was furious. That's hilarious. I still have never seen Green Lantern. Don't. Save yourself the trouble, please. Not even for curiosity's sake? No, no. Wow. She'll literally be like, why? Find animals. Okay. We're very close to this mission. Might as well do this, right? I still can't believe I made that jump. That was awesome. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but beep, motherfucking beep. All right. Wah, corn! Someone's trapped. Oh, Who? Where? Where are they? Please. Clear nearby enemies to rescue the hostage. In the car? I think she's in the car. Okay. Hi, Arthur. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Arthur hanging out. I don't mind an Arthur hang. Hi, Artie. How are you? Am I sitting in your chair? No, oh, there he goes. I definitely have to repair my machete. That's for dang sure. Machete for your spaghetti? 
<laughs> Don't thank me, thank alcohol. Oh my god. Ooh, yeah, Into the Spider-Verse was so good. I think that's my favorite Spider-Man movie, honestly. Clear nearby enemies. They're they're cleared, my dude. I don't over the Tobey Maguire movies? It's just so good on its own. True. I'll give you that. What are you eating? Cere cereal? No. Ooh, can I sneak? Can I stealth kill? Ooh, you played Miles Morales Spider-Man 2? That's awesome. Yeah, Aaron was just streaming that. A-bomb P-19. <laughs> Spider-Verse and Miles Morales are both top tier. Right on. I love... See, like, I went into Spider-Verse knowing almost nothing about Miles Morales. We didn't even see the, pre like, the trailer either. Hold on. I think Hold I watched on. the trailer. You're gonna die out here. I think no I, like, I kind of knew what I was getting into. Hey. But, like, I, I had never been a Miles Morales fan up until then. I didn't really know anything about him. That was such a well-made movie. Peaceful Lake, Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Ooh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, dude. Same. Um, Cyber likes Mortal Kombat a lot too. Sindel. The Mortal Kombat three character. They know why. Keep your head down and run. We just got Mortal Kombat, I think, 10 for PlayStation Plus. Like, it was included. Oh, I can fix this. So, I don't know. I might stream that with Cyber. <clears throat> Maybe even Alex, because I've seen... I've noticed he's been playing that lately, too. I think that'd be fun. <clears throat> A nice one-off stream, you know? A couple rounds of Mortal Kombat. Maybe we can, like, dick around and play through the story a little bit, even. Looked like I know Tim. Tim played a lot of Mortal Kombat 10, and he was playing through the story mode, and he made it. It looked like a lot of fun. I love how they kind of went. Oh, oh no 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 no! Get the fudge out of here! Oh my God, that's like 30 zombies chasing me. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it never gets old. This game does. I feel like they wanted to make a Walking Dead game starring Daryl. Because this guy has a motorcycle and a crossbow. He even kind of looks like Daryl a little bit. And they couldn't acquire the rights or, you know, it just, the deal didn't go through. So they're like, Let's just make our own fucking zombie game. Screw Walking Dead. If I ever get Mortal Kombat 11, I'll let you know. I will. I will. When you mentioned Mortal Kombat yesterday, I thought maybe you said 10, which is the one that we have now. I'm not huge into fighting games. I'll just I'll just say it. What? I enjoy them. The they're good. They're classic, but like as a gamer to capture my attention for longer than like one session at a time i need like a story i need some linear gameplay Op Sorry. opera ben has entered the chat <laughs> Lucane needs to avenge his brother's soul. you have a i see now when it comes to fighting games i do love the backstories for the characters that part i'm not gonna lie i enjoy like Street Fighter, they're all from different countries. They all have their own like fighting style. Mortal Kombat, they're like different like aliens and species. Some of them are human, some of them are evil, some of them are good. You have like the Lin Kuei and all you know, all these factions and stuff. I love that. It's just like I can only fight for so long. For so long. <laughs> like that gameplay can only carry me for so long. That's like it it just gets old so quickly for me. It's the fourth fight. It gets kinda difficult. Yeah. Like I said, I'm down to play it casually, you know, as a one and done kind of session. Any percent? Any percent. 
will I ever enter a Mortal Kombat tournament that lasts like a week or, you know, no, probably not. <laughs> it's more of a casual once in a while thing for me. I do love the movies too. Oh yeah. Movies are fun. Did we see the MK movie, the new one? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I liked it. I mean, it's not an, it's not an Oscar winner and that's for damn sure, but it was fun. It was a nice distraction. It was a nice distraction. I love that. I watched that movie and I was like instantly wanting a Twisted Metal movie. I don't know why. I was like, just Steady. give me that similar vibe, but make it a, a car demolition tournament instead of a fighting tournament. And I'm sold. I think there's a movie like that. It's called Cars. <laughs> By Pixar? Yeah. Oh, my God. The rated R version. The uncut version, uncut, unrated. You guys remember unrated DVDs? Those are fun times. Yes. Like, you'd buy, like, the unrated version. Oh, boy. Right? But it's literally just because they would have, like, five extra minutes of footage that the M... Yeah, they'd have a deleted scene that the MCAAP or whatever the fuck, the Motion Picture Association that rates the movies... They don't watch five minutes of extra footage, so that's why it's unrated, because they didn't get a chance to fucking put their stamp of approval on five minutes of de deleted scenes. On, fucking Cyber. <laughs> I'm lost on fighting games. That's how I feel. I'll play them, but I'm not going to like try to beat one anytime soon. Do any of you guys want to try out the Nickelodeon fighting game? Yes. That's the one fighting game I'm down for. It was enjoyable if flawed. I agree. Kano was like the best part of that movie, in my opinion. More like K-O-No. More like K-O-No. The Kirby one? There's a Kirby fighting game? Okay, I see deer. Should I like use my my tracking skills? Kirby Fighters 2? That's a thing? I did not know that was a thing. Time for dinner. Gotcha, Mitch. The fuck did it hit the water? Got him. Arthur. Just get Thank you for the water break, Alex. Fresh meat. Zim? Invader Zim? I used to love watching Invader Zim. Gurr was my favorite. He'd always be talking about tacos and burritos. Yeah, let's do it. Let's all play. You can get a teammate and you kiss them to heal them. I played the demo. I love the sound of that. You know, one game that I did not play as much as I wanted to was uh, the curb, the like the yarn game, Kirby's Yarn Ball or whatever it's called. Oh no, was I using my special? No, I wasn't. I just, I just suck at shooting. Where is there a zombie? I need, to, I need to harvest five deer. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Kirby with Waddle Dee. There was an Invader Zim movie? I did not see that. Is that what we're talking about? SpongeBob's like taunting pose is literally the meme of him. I love that. Yeah, that yarn game was so cute. Yeah, there was Yoshi's Yarn as well. Yoshi's Woolly World. 2019, baby! Wow, no. Yeah, I didn't get to play it. I didn't get to play that Yoshi Yarn game. That one looked really fun, too. Was that a Switch game or a Wii U?
I'm just starting to realize how many Wii U games there were that I actually am interested in playing, and like, who knows if they'll ever get ported forward to the to the Switch. It's a Wii U game. Borrowed it from Aki and Serenity, but I never played it. Oh, so is a Switch. There's a Switch version. Cool. That's good. Maybe we'll pick that up. It's getting to the point where I can't remember now, like, which games came out for Switch or Wii U or vice versa. Which games are, like, re-released. Yeah, I want to play that game. I want to play Pokemon Snap. I never got a chance to play that Wii U Star Fox game, but people said it was kind of garbage, so I'm not that worried about it. What other games am I missing? Um, Sword and Shield? I never got around to Moon, Sun and Moon either, but some people seem to have not liked that, that generation either. Yoshi's Crafted World. Oh, so there's another version. Okay. Yeah, new Pokemon Snap looks so good. Once I get capture card um, capabilities on this channel, I'm definitely going to have to pick up Pokemon Snap and stream it. That's a definite yes. Want to get Smash Bros to check out Sora? <laughs> I want to I want to play Smash Bros and just look at the roster. Like they have so many characters now, it's insanity. Looking for deers, looking for deers. Will this help me? That's that's just a dead deer. Okay. Very much so. Yes. Just free deer meat sitting out in the wild. Oh boy. You bought Shield last night? I'm so tempted to just buy a new game. No! <laughs> Cyber heard me. Well, it says no. Come on, go back to work. I thought Shield was fantastic. The DLCs lead a lot to be desired, though. Oh, interesting. Before you bought the DLC bundle, oh boy. Oh yeah, I missed I missed Gen 4 and 5. A lot of people like black and white cuz it was like the last like pixelated generation. And people were loving the art style. I enjoyed X and Y. That's when I jumped back into the series. I I missed 4 and 5, but I came back for Gen 6. Yep. Have Smash Bros. with none of the DLC characters. There's DLC characters? Oh gosh. Did Cyber just bark at me? Practically. She she just barked no in my general direction. <laughs> Nick's wallet said said no as well, Cyber. But it's an inanimate object and it doesn't own me. Yeah, I play I had Y. I think I had Y. That was oh. Holiday season's coming. You know what that means. And my birthday, too. And your birthday. See? So Wallet says no. No new games. Santa says yes, but Wallet says no. Yes. Where are you going? Ton of DLC character packs? Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about the Smash series, honestly. Is that... Did I harvest that one already? I feel like there's a dead deer that I... Oh, yep, it's right here. Cool. I think the Zombos killed a bunch of them for me, and I just didn't harvest them yet. Beautiful. Now we got to return to Boozer. Okay, I just got to get this back to Boozer. 
newer ones have really good plots. Like, it's outrageous that you're a young child doing all this shit, but it makes you feel important. I really enjoy it. I don't remember the plot of X and Y too well, honestly. But I did enjoy the pacing of it. I thought that was really cool. I really enjoyed I thought X and Y had a really good balance of new Pokemon and as well as integrating older Pokemon, like from Gen 1 and 2. I thought it was amazing that you got two starters, basically. Like, fuck yeah. Sign me the F up. You get to pick one brand new starter and you get to pick one of the OGs as well. How can you go wrong? They also introduced um, the Mega Evolutions. That was fun. I'm just glad my boy Gengar got a Mega Evolution. Are we heading the right way? I think so. I've only unlocked characters through in-game stuff so far. You missed out on Yun Link. Because you accidentally killed yourself, really. You can't go back and get him? That seems weird. You have to pay like 10 bucks for a young Link amiibo now? Hi, Arthur. Arthur's got the zombies. If you lose when you fight them. Wait, hold on. I really like you can see the wild Pokemon now. Oh, yes, that's right. With, like, let's go. There's nothing more wholesome than seeing, like, r like Pokemon actually running around in the world, like, in real time. Like, it's just, like... Yeah, like, that's how I, that's how I always imagined the world feeling. And it wasn't until let's go. Or... Maybe I don't know which one came first, but it wasn't in, it wasn't until the recent games where it actually felt real in terms of like a breathing world teeming with wildlife. If you lose when you fight them, they come back at some point, but it doesn't tell you how long. Ah, dang, that's a bummer. <laughs> I hate that feeling. Yeah, dude, I I enjoy the Let's Go games. I need to I need to like go back and finish let's go eevee i keep i keep putting it down because i know how that game like i know the pacing and like which which gym you have to go to next like every time so yeah i'm always like eh, i don't i don't feel like like i don't feel like fighting through lavender town I, i'll i'll do that next time and then like three months go by and i won't play the game that's how that's how pokemon let's go goes for me that's how it tends to play out. It's not lost on me that every single cave has a thousand Zubats. Oh my god. I'm still traumatized by cave Zubats. Every five steps. Fucking Weedles in the grass. I'm just like doing my best looking for a Geo dude. Fucking Zubats are popping up, getting in the way, smacking me in the face. It'll pop up as an, an option menu, I guess, and it'll be like, you can retry now. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Took a long break from Let's Go Eevee and just finished it again. Oh, nice. GG. That's a good feeling. Did it in spurts? Yeah, I think I just... I think I just finished the SSN. No. I just got the ticket, so I have to get on the SSN. So now I'm like, ah, I don't feel like... I don't mind exploring the boat. I just don't feel like fighting every single trainer that's in there. <laughs> I feel like the Let's Go games are casual enough where you you don't need to fight every trainer. Not like the originals where it's like every little ounce of XP that you can get, you need. 
but that was also before they like introduced party experience share. That's she's God. What a blessing. What a godsend. Daywalker, thank you so much for the lurk, my dude. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. If you're hearing this, I appreciate you, friend. Looking forward to some fucking Expanse Season 6. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Daywalker is a fellow Expanse fanatic. Almost 100% it. Need one more secret Pokemon. Need to beat all the Master Trainers for each Pokemon. Well, good luck with that. I can't wait till I almost 100% that game. A Daywalker in the house. Yeah, you get HP from X. You get HP. That'd be nice too. No, you get XP from catching Pokemon. That's amazing. Universally shared experience without an item. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm set in my ways though. I still have. I still have a. A bunk, or a runt Pokemon out first, and then switch them out. A daywalker sighting during the daytime too love to see it power leveling strat for that game is to just keep catching chances in cerulean cave really i love that hey booze man i, I don't think anything made me more happy than seeing a, a chancy in the this, wild man. in that game i'm not real hungry right now they're so cute i'll salt it up in a bit arthur you okay buddy you gotta salt that meat, boozer. I was playing Alpha Sapphire. Ooh, dude, I forgot about the Sapphire Ruby remakes, too. I totally missed those. Forgot you had to swap guys out to get them XP. Oh, no. They give you XP share right away? That's good. I will never complain about XP share. I don't care. I'm not that hardcore of a gamer. I will gladly take all the extra XP. No worries. We're going to fast travel to the hot springs. Wow, that's my first fast travel. Beautiful. It's that simple. Chance it gives you the most XP per catch outside of legendaries. So you just might have to catch, so you just have to catch like hundreds of them. Oh, wow. If you use the assist trainer and throw both pokeballs at once you get oh yeah that's right that's so funny me and cyber like almost accidentally discovered that a month or two ago one of us was playing and it said like i think one of us accidentally moved the other joy con or something and it gave a prompt like uh, like oh like push the start button to to add player two and i'm like what this game is two players Hold on. I know. Open up. That was like the coolest day ever. We were like tandem catching Pokemon. That was so fun. I've been loosely trying to convince Cyber to stream that game. Hey, what's going on? And she's like, but you have to help me. You have to backseat me. And I'm like, Cyber, not only will I willingly backseat you, I can literally play the game with you. <laughs> Make it even easier. So maybe someday in the near future we'll have a co-op pokemon stream on cyber's channel see cyber i've been trying to tell you and you don't listen to me sorry not trying to be salty but it's true <laughs> i prefer my springs cold or room temperature it's hilarious in shield i had one pokemon that i use exclusively to poison and paralyze wild pokemon oh nice sleep was always my go-to Either a Pokemon that knew hypnosis or sleep powder. Stream it. I love that that pride emo pride pog. It's so cute. Looks like it worked. Make it happen. Till after you caught Mewtwo. Oh, that would have helped out a lot. So is it possible to? Is it possible to just play assist trainer by yourself? Just like dual Here's fist joy cons? Is that hey, a thing? What's going on? See you later. That would be cool. Although, I feel like it's obviously much more fun with like 
a real co-op partner. That's all I got. You can, but you have to use, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that there's kind of a trick to it, but it's probably worth the trouble and the effort. How's uh, bounty hunting going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, oh man, it's just so, the uh, the design, it's so satisfying. Yep. The graphics and like the, the noises and it's like, oh, nice catch. And it's like rainbow letters and really nice sound effects. Like very, very smart design choices on mm -hmm. their part. Right, later, man. I think they did a really good job with that. Oh, the outfits too. Yes, dude. I love the outfits. I think I have my Eevee wearing like the little sailor, the sailor outfit. Okay. I'm a big fan of the color something. blue. Love it. All right. We need to start getting more trust with this camp. Cause I, I really want to really want a new gun. I'm going to get a sniper rifle. Powerful. Good shot. You'll like this one. A little, a little stubby. Oh, I can have a shotgun as a as a sidearm. You could use a gun like that. I'm down. I'm just gonna buy all the guns that I can. I have money. Why not? Someone told me previously that the 22 is garbage, but it's better than nothing. So. So now I have a primary weapon in my locker. In terms of sidearm, I'm definitely going to equip the more powerful pistol. I guess I'm going to go with my sniper rifle for now. We're going to have to put away the crossbow for now. Let's we'll see how this works. I love Eevee. <laughs> I love Eevee too. In, in recent years, Eevee has definitely has gotten a